from Swindon's won a national writing competition about the plight of the bumblebee. She was presented with the award by wildlife expert and TV presenter Chris Packham. Here's Catherine de Costa. When they were back at the hive, Bingley started pollinating while Bella went to find the other bees. Once Bella upon a time, there was a little girl from Swindon who wrote all about the adventures of Bella the bee. It was so good, she won a national competition. I'm really happy. I didn't know this was going to happen, and it's one of like, the best days of my life. I like wildlife because my like, looks really beautiful and stuff. I've also got a few books about like insects and stuff at home, and I and I really like gardening. Like a swarm of bumblebees, children from Robert Le King Primary School gathered for a special assembly with wildlife presenter Chris Packham. Chris selected Hannah's winning story for more than 200 entries and classmate Megan as a runner-up. It's really important these days to get young people to engage with nature. They don't have uh, opportunities outside of school, many of them to do that. And unless they can meet it firsthand, up close, unless they can feel it and get touched and stung and slimed by it, they won't develop a deep-rooted, long-lasting affinity for it. There's growing concern that bees are in trouble. A toxic mix of parasites, poor weather and pesticides have taken their toll. Here, there's a real buzz about protecting insects and creepy crawlies. The school's got a bug hotel and wildlife garden, while year three have been learning about bees in class. We have learnt about bees that there are, there are 25 different species. They pollinate a third of our food chain. We learnt not to, not to use pesticides. You shouldn't be scared of bees because they're more scared of you. Catherine de Costa, BBC South Today.